outside too. That is a nice. Oh. I mean, it tumbled right down out of the dirt. Just oh, Jerry. Beautiful cow side. Is that the one you're gonna give to me? <laughs> <laughs> This time, we're in Okeechobee, Florida at Ruck's Pit. We're looking for calcite crystals that formed in two million year old fossil clamshells and other things. What an awesome place to be. We got fresh piles. What? Every so often, Eddie will have these fresh piles of dirt brought up. These are loaded with calcite crystals and shells. You're supplied with a water hose and you can spray all day long and find these awesome fossils. This one being a whelk shell showing just a tiny bit of calcite. So let's see what else we can find. The wind being in southern Florida was a bit rough at times, but we were finding some really nice pieces here. Look at this crystal. <laughs> you can see the calcite crystals and all the clams on the matrix. What a great piece. And then all of a sudden, Jerry found finds one. Oh, then Jerry whelk. finds a whelk shell. Oh, it's got crystals inside there? Uh -huh. oh. It's a cave. It's a cave. It's a cave. Whoa, Jerry. It's a whelk cave. Now here is a whelk worth writing home about. Look at the water running out of it. Look at all those crystals in there. That's how you do it there. Jerry Oxide strikes again. Set with the H2O this time. Right next to the pit, Eddie has this cool donkey. So let's go feed the donkey. So we've been giving him some carrots as treats. Check out how excited he gets. Hey, bud. There he comes. <laughs> Over here. Over here, buddy. So if you need a fun little break between digging calcite clams, you can come over here and feed the donkey some carrots. He loves them. These clams, also known as Mercenaria permania, formed about 10 to 12 foot under the surface. One like this often called a boat because of its natural eroded shape with the crystals bursting out the center. Great example of one of these found here by Amanda. Check this one out. Also found by Amanda has some awesome formations. Crystals running around all over the place. Here's that same piece put under black ultraviolet light. The crystals here have a cool glow, what's called fluorescence. It also has what's called phosphorescence, which is what you'll see here when it slowly dissipates when you turn the light off. So let's get back to some digging. Plenty of piles of dirt here to go through. Just a matter of finding them. What I like to do is take a rake or a pick and scrape through the piles like so. You do that for a little while. You're trying to really churn up the dirt and any big rocks and clams and things like that. Then take your water and spray off everything you see. You never know what you're going to get. Mainly you want to focus on some of the bigger things first, like this one right here. What? So there it is. Still got a lot of dirt and mud on it. Maybe we'll do a quick spray off here. Oh yeah, it's going to look good. There it is all cleaned up. What a knock out piece. These are what's called dog tooth calcite crystals coming off of there. Kristen found a good one I think here. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Looks kind of like a flower. 
Sweet. And look at this one. Big, huge, single crystal. Don't normally see them like this. Ooh, there's one right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Looking good. Let's see what this thing looks like. Spray it off a bit more. And yes, sir, that's a little flower heart-shaped piece. <laughs> that's nice. Yep, and another one there looks like. You can see these sometimes because as soon as you spray them off, the uh, golden calcite just kind of shines through there a bit. This one's going to look nice. Looks like it's loaded with calcite. Check this one out, Jerry. Just found. Beautiful. Can't even pull old Jerry Oxide out of the pit. He's finding them left and right. Look at this beautiful piece Jerry Oxide pulled out right before dark on the last day of digging. Getting her done. There you go. Okay. He also put out this calcite crystal here. Look at that. Beautiful. What? Here we are at the end of the day and Sean here from Dig 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 Productions has got a carload of them. Oh man. What do you think? I don't, I don't think the Prius will We'll get the gas mileage. Man. Right <laughs> Look at that. So, yeah, it might affect the gas mileage some, huh? <laughs> if it doesn't blow out a tire. Being so close to the beach, we decided to take a day off and go have a good time. Jerry here rolling around on the electric skateboard, having a great time. And then I decided to go out and catch a couple of waves. They were kind of small, but really fun. Here I am doing what's called a hang five maneuver. That's when you walk to the front of the board and hang your front five toes off the end of the nose. Having a super fun time. We're gonna cut into this whelk shell and see what's going on inside. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that side. Oh, I told you, right, perfect. You're right, that was cut perfect. The whole, that was good. Perfect. That was good. Both sides. Good cut, good cut. Oh, wow. It looks like a heart. And here's why you want to cut these open. These welts have a natural swirl where the crystals sometimes wrap around like this one here. What? This is one of my top finds ever from this location. Oh wait, this is just the back of it. Check this out. Awesome museum quality piece. It's got huge golden calcite crystals. So golden, they're like a deep honey color. And here's a pretty nice crystal that was found as well. Great color. And here's one of the best I've ever found. It was really nice, super large crystals. Now this piece is pretty wild. You can see the nice calcite, the same shape as the clam there, but watch this. You flip it over, right there. You see it? There's a shark's tooth embedded in the matrix. Now that's pretty wild and amazing. Thanks so much. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the videos. See you next time. To help and support this channel, please like and share, and we sure do love your comments. Thanks for watching.